Asperger's and being bipolar. I have a couple of things to share about this also. Okay. As I've addressed, there's some things with my Asperger's that really came to a peak at around age 15. My being bipolar and my crazy mood swings, um, that's something I more felt 15 through 17. That was like a three year like trilogy of madness and an insanity with my crazy roller coaster mood swings that nobody could understand and not even really me but I can tell you that I had entire days where I felt like you know I want to kill myself my life sucks my life would be better to end it this is terrible why am I alive and this and that and the other thing with depression and why I'd be better off dead and and the thing was nothing really needed to be wrong you just felt that because that was what was going through your head for me. And then the next day I would be in the clouds with happiness and I'd be joking around with people and I'd be hyperactive and I'd be having so much fun just just talking and not really doing anything but just talking and and people loved it and thought it was so fun and my crazy upswings were so fun to be around and and then the next day it was like it would completely undo itself again. But I enjoyed the upswings. I won't lie about that. Just not when I couldn't sleep at night. I didn't really like that. But, um, and I know that also when I was a teenager, um, it really scared me. And naturally I kind of wanted an explanation. So I'm not proud of this, but I'd blame my parents or I'd blame something else and say, oh, it's because of this thing in my life that I'm depressed. No, it wasn't. It was scary for me that I was depressed for no reason. Sometimes, th there was at least a couple times I could think of that I started like crying hysterically, and there was nothing even wrong. It's just like my body couldn't help it. And, um, and those are some ideas. I know that it's common for bipolar people to have big ideas. Um, I can't think of any though, and I also know that it's common for them to, um, what is it, I don't remember, I think that it might, oh, I was going to say obsessive compulsive stuff is probably somehow related, because I know that that would, you know, just get worse suddenly, whether I'm obsessive about something, or just those weird tics that I couldn't help, I described a few, some current and old ones I used to have, okay, that's all. Thank <laughs> you.